I have the distinct pleasure and honor to introduce our next speaker. First speaker kicking off the evening session. This guy reminds me a lot of me when I first came into the Libertarian Party. I like to describe it as a bull in a china shop doing whatever I feel to best advance liberty. And I'd like to introduce you to David Malakar. David. See this? Right here? You need to change it to the common sense party. That's what we are. Common sense party. Especially the big red and blue. Okay? <laughs> they have nothing on us when it comes to personal liberty, when it comes to your future of success through capitalism. We are the ones that are going to destroy cronyism. Yes. We're the ones that are going to destroy racism because yes. all of us in here, yeah. this, this group right here, all the libertarians across the entire nation, we are the ones that yeah. embrace people from all religions, all creeds. It doesn't matter what gender you are, what you identify as, everyone is welcome in the Libertarian Party. Woo! This is where it's at. And this is 2016. The Libertarian Party has been growing crazy over the last 10 years. It's been in the works for 45. We know this. But I'm telling you, this is the year. Not only are we going to push and get candidates elected in Washington, we will get the recognition that we need on the national level, I firmly believe that we will break that 15% that we need, or however much it is, on the national, so that next time, we will be on the same stage with the big red and blue. <laughs> <laughs> we have a shot this year because so many people are fed up with red and blue and what they've been providing for us. You've got this nonsense of build wall, you've got this nonsense of we're for the people when you've got the same candidate that's also voting in favor of Wall Street. No, no. We are the only ones that have common sense when it comes to the rights of the individual, to the rights of this entire country. Now there's a point tonight that wasn't really brought to light yet. And I want to bring this to light. I want you guys to understand. There's a huge issue that we have in this country. We need to be very focused on helping our fellow man, the ones that are downtrodden and out, the homeless. The homeless need our help. Government ain't doing nothing for them. You know who's doing something for them? We are. We're the ones that are going to step up and volunteer and turn it around because we're sick and tired of seeing government waste our money. I don't like that my tax dollars don't go to charities that I choose. I don't like it that my tax dollars go to bombs or overseas to the little children. That is disgusting. We need to be freaking mad. We need yeah. to have oh, We're not putting up anymore. I'm sick. Woo. I am sick of it. We need to stop the endless wars. We need to stop the wars on the people. Okay? It's not, it's not collateral damage. It's human beings that are dying at the cost of our tax dollars. That's our money that's going to support debt. I'm done with that. I don't support that. None of you should support that. We need to address these things. And we need to address a point that was not made yet. That is the militarization of our police force on a national level. Woo! grenade launchers. They are attacking people on the streets without just due cause. You can be arrested right now under NDAA without representation and be stuck in a hole indefinitely. You'd be lucky if you even saw somebody for the rest of your life. That's, that's their choice. They can do that. We allowed that kind of legislation to pass. It's disgusting. We're not standing for that. That's the kind of things that the Libertarian Party will get rid of. We will stop this huge, massive government. We're going to take this, this massive government and we're going to bring it back to a reasonable level. We're going to make it where it's a government for the people and not a government for cronyism and, and, and all this other nonsense that's been going on. I'm telling you, in 2015, 2015, 
a citizen dying in this country every eight hours at the hands of law enforcement. Every eight hours in 2015, someone died. That is inexcusable. We need to hold our law enforcement just as accountable as any of us are to the existing laws. And we need to stop this protection, this idea that they're above the law. Everyone is equally accountable. No one is above the law. My brothers and sisters back in the East Coast, in the DC and Maryland area, they're getting locked away for life sentences over things such as marijuana. They're getting locked away for ridiculous crimes that, that they shouldn't even be charged for. It is completely run amok and out of control. We can't allow this anymore. We have to stand up and fight. This is yeah. war! Woo! This is war! They have a gun to your head. Not literally, but it could come to that. Every single one of you is at risk. Every single one of you is at risk. We are playing a very dangerous game because we are invading their turf. Because we, we are a challenge to them. We're a challenge to the two-party establishment. We're going to put an end to it. There's going to be enough of this unnecessary militarization. There's going to be enough of the needless deaths of our own men and women and children and the ones overseas or anywhere else that the country thinks that they should be helping. <laughs> through volunteerism, through activism, through all of us. We're the ones who are going to make the change. It all starts with every single one of you. Woo! Thank you. You really are standing up for us. It's what we need. What we all need to stand up as individuals. And together, we can win this fight. We can restore liberty back into this country. It's going to be done. 2016 is the year. It's the beginning of good things, people.